What's up everyone, Take Turn here. Welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be opening these overtime packs for 1920. We have one pack for wave two and one pack for wave three. Now I bought these off of eBay and I paid a little bit more than I should have because I just got from the same seller. I won 10 of these at auction for $36, so that's $3.60 each. For both of these I paid $17, so... A little bit high for just these, but we're going to see what's inside. I don't know if I got my money's worth, but I will be doing the pack of 10 of these in the future on the channel as well. So this kind of leads up to it, and I couldn't decide between wave 1 or wave 2. We're going to start with wave 2. I mean, these cards do look really nice. This is the first time me purchasing them. So we have Jacob Slavin. A Kevin Hayes, a blue variant for Namesnikov, Ottawa Senators, which I collect. And we have an Oliver Wallstrom next in line. That looks really cool. Uh, looks like Rainbow Foil. Of course, I don't know what the inserts are worth for uh, overtime. So I'm going to have to look up this value. But a Rainbow Foil card for Oliver Wallstrom. That's really cool in my opinion. That is really cool. So you do only get four cards. These are all the cards out of wave two pack. So that's really cool. A blue variant and the Wallstrom card I really like. I think in future videos I'm going to get my pegs up here and put them actually standing up so you guys can see them better. So that was wave two. Now we have a wave three pack. I couldn't decide which one I'd like more. I know Wave 2 has more of that year's rookies. And this is more Legend players. But we're going to see what we get here. Braden Shen. A Domenko. Oliver Borkstrand for the blue. I don't know if that's a separate base. Kind of like SP did this year. And, oh, cool. A Clappers for Ginla. Rainbow Foil. Again, that looks really nice. Um, I don't know if these come numbered or not. This one is not. That's really cool. I have a small, small PC for him, but to have a, a 2019-20 card for him, in my opinion, is really cool. So each pack, I didn't get anything, in my opinion, outstanding. Of course, I don't even know what the inserts are for this. These are the first time uh, me buying these. So this was Wave 3, which included Nginla inside. You only get four cards per pack, so paying... Um, $7 for one pack and $10 for the other pack is too much. And now I know that considering what you get inside. But wave two, I don't know. I don't know which one I liked more. I think I liked wave two more just because it included a uh, rookie player. And it does have more rookies online. Um, sorry, in the, in the set there's a lot more rookies. And this is more veteran players for wave three. I believe wave one, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe wave one is more current players the top current players in it that are the hits but yeah so i don't know what these are worth um, i'm not sure if there's jersey cards i think there's auto cards in waves um, i think wave two has rookies and wave three has the legends like i was talking about but that's really cool i ordered a pack of 10 of these for uh for wave two for three dollars and sixty cents each so i'm gonna be doing that in a future video i just wanted to Open these, see what they're about, see which one I like more. I'm leaning towards Wave 2 just because it included the rookie, but I do like that in Ginla card, so I might have to get more Wave 3 in the future. Comment down below what you guys think. Should I get more of these cards? If they're cheap on eBay, if they're cheap, uh, I'm not definitely paying what I paid for these ones. That was way too much. But let me know what you guys think, or if you guys have been collecting overtime this year. I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.